On today's video, I'm going to see how much capacity a used lithium iron phosphate battery still has in it. Let's get right into it. So I installed this Wheeze, Wise, whatever pronunciation you want to use for this brand on 5-8-2024 in my camper system, my 12-volt RV rig, and I removed it from service exactly 18 months later, 11-8-2025. So the battery was in service roughly 18 months. Daily cycling, the percentage varied, but the system was always on and running, so the battery was up and down in state of charge and voltage. And this battery, when new, did not deliver 100 amp hours for note. This battery, when brand new, delivered 1243 watt hours, so roughly 97 amp hours out of a possible 100 when it was new. So today I'm gonna to find out if it can at least deliver that, or maybe with cycling it every day, all the cells balanced out and it's gonna do better. We're gonna find out. Charging the battery up before the capacity test. It looks like the battery got just a little bit over 14.4 volts before the BMS shut down and stopped the charger. You can see the charger stopped its charging sequence. So now I've got the battery connected to the capacity test rig, the same setup I always use for consistency, the little energy meter and the alpha inverter to pull it down. The energy meter has been cleared. No energy has moved out of the battery yet. The battery is 72 degrees at the start of the capacity test. Turning the inverter on now. So the inverter is on. Now I'll apply the load to the battery for the capacity test. It is the same charger charging back to another 12 volt battery. So there's the load for the capacity test. 54 and a half amps, 680, 690 watt load on the Wheeze or Wise battery. All right, the inverter will be going off any moment now on low voltage. All right, the inverter went off on low voltage disconnect. The tally was 1185 watt hours. Oof. So that's kind of craptastic, right? All right. 5824 to 11825 initially 97.1 amp hours now it's down to 92.6 so it's lost 58 watt hours of capacity roughly four and a half amp hours in 18 months roughly 540 days so losing 0.1 watt hour per day so i'm kind of disappointed the battery's lost four and a half amp hours of capacity in 18 months it's not like this battery's been hit hard it's been part of a larger system, current sharing, you know, maybe two amps, three amps at the most on this battery. It's lived an easy life and it's not been in extreme temperatures. It's been a temperature controlled environment, things like that. And it's daily depth of discharge is very minimal. So it's not like it's been, been slammed or beat on or nothing like that. So, you know, losing that much capacity already is kind of disappointing. If I'd slammed it every day at 50, 60 amps, you know, rung it all the way down to zero, then back up every day, I could see losing some more capacity on it, things like that, but maybe it's just calendar aging on these cells or maybe the cells were aging to start with and now it's starting to show itself a little bit more. I don't know for sure. So what do you think about that? Have you checked any of your batteries after you run them for a year or two to see if they still have the same capacity? Maybe something worth looking into. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video today. As always, thank you for watching. Y'all take care. Be safe. I will see you on the next one.